My name is Glenn Hahn. I'm an EM3 electrician. We, of course, we left from Long Beach, and then that was right after New Year's, about the third, I think. So we were on, left Long Beach and were pulling some kind of a new, uh, Vietnamese gunboat behind. They were we were supposed to really pull that all the way over to Vietnam. Well, we got into some really rough seas in between uh, Long Beach and Hawaii and that thing just kept breaking the hauser and we'd just lose the thing and we'd have to go and pick it up. So eventually we got to we got to uh, Pearl, Pearl Harbor and we pretty much gave up the ghost on that thing, left it set and let somebody <laughs> else do it. We weren't really, you know, we really weren't set up to be towing something like that. So we wound up there and then uh, left Pearl and then wound up basically uh, we were based out of uh, Sasebo, Japan is where we were when we were overseas and then got into uh, Vietnam. Uh, did a lot of uh, work in the Da Nang Harbor and off of a little place called Vong Tau. And, uh, we'll, we would do a sit out in the harbor and then have ships tie off next to us and they'd put in work orders and we'd go on and repair whatever they needed to repair and sometimes we'd have like three or four ships tied on each side of us and then we'd go across and do whatever we had to do because the Hector was, uh, you know, pretty much a floating ship that had every kind of shop on it. We did, you know, foundry to pour poor gears and we had a, a motor rewind shop that we could, with the big cranes, drop motors down in the bottom and they'd burn them out and rewind them. So there's pretty much everything that we needed to do, we could do. What we wound up having to do though, is we had a weigh anchor every night. You know, we didn't stay in the harbor. So at night we went out and steam said, said underway watch. And then we'd be in at first light again, drop anchor, and, and start all over again. But uh, the only, probably the big thing was a, I believe it was a destroyer or something that tied up to us where they had their gun mount blown off, you know, so we had to work on that. But that thing was way beyond our capabilities to do. But Higby, I, I, it was destroyer size, I don't recall, what, actually the, designation was, but it was a USS Higby, so yeah, then we were in the harbor uh, during the day, then they had the, the divers would circle and drop hand grenades to make sure that there were no boat divers coming in and attaching anything to our hull. So we but were pretty much standing watch all the time. One of our main functions there was to replace barrels on the destroyers. They'd pull those off because after a while they got overheated and would start drooping. So we'd pull those off and put new ones on. We did um, a lot of the Vietnamese ships, the smaller ones. Um, unfortunately, I was still on the Mestex up about half of that time, so I wasn't involved with a lot of that. But we did. We did wind up. Uh, <laughs> showing the cruise movie. I remember one night we showed the, uh, at the, the Vietnamese sailors in our gang, and we showed the 2001 movie, you know, so with the, the monkeys in the front. So that, that was pretty cool. <laughs> you know, we all had our, our own jobs to do. You know, we'd get our work schedule the night before, so we knew pretty much who was coming to tie up next to us, and we knew what had to be done. So I don't know that there was any kind of rivalry or anything like that involved, but pretty much got done what we had to do.